Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to be taking a look at this little drone from Tech RC. As you can see here, it comes in a pretty cool looking, uh, you know, box, you know, mo like more like you'd see in, a, in an apartment store. Um, really nice graphics on it and stuff. So you can learn a little bit, little bit about it. It does have a blue and a red in this particular little drone. Again, looks kind of unique, this drone. I mean, it's got this, you know, golf ball or ping pong, more like a ping pong ball look to it. Uh, pretty neat and it's a fly surprisingly well it's got the big tech rc you know logo on the front and this is a wi-fi camera drone we'll get to the camera here in a minute because there's a little bit of a problem i've run into with this particular drone that may not affect everybody but it does affect me now it has an sd card slot here on the side but well, it appears that it does i should say but in this particular model the wi-fi one as you can see here the antenna um, it doesn't actually have a, a, an SD card in it, but it looks like it does. It's even got the little uh, graphic here that shows for an SD card. But I tried to put one in there, and I looked and said, well, it doesn't look like there's really a slot in there. And no, there really isn't. Uh, but they do, I do believe they make a, like a 2 megapixel, uh, uh, like a C version or whatever, <laughs> for this drone that does take a micro SD card. Now, this drone, at least by the instruction manual, goes by the name tr001w so that's why i said there was a c version w of course stands for wi-fi you've got your red props in the rear and white in the front to help with orientation it does have three uh, speed rates and it gets rather sporty and it flies really 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 well actually for something that's kind of odd looking you know it has this little you know landing gear that's you know pre-attack actually it's part of the actual mold i think well actually it does snap into the side of the drone the landing gear does um it comes with two batteries which i like and these are 450 milliamp proprietary style batteries um, it doesn't say 450 on it but the amazon website it lists these at 450 flight time around seven minutes um, charge time on these is about 70 minutes so you're looking at you know a little over an hour to charge these up it uses a kind of an odd little connector here this is a like they typically use on the uh, little nanos like the Cheerson CX-10s use these I think the light goes on and it goes off whenever it's charged like I said about 70 minutes to charge that also comes with uh, spare props and a little screwdriver to take the batteries out or do repairs to it pretty common stuff for a drone they did send me some extra motors here which I don't know if this is something that's sent with all the uh, their orders right now or if they're just letting me know that spare parts are available. Um, that, that I'm not sure about. They do include it with your order. That is pretty cool. But at the very least, we know that uh, spare motors are easily accessible uh, to be ordered through Amazon's website or I guess techrc.net is a web address on a friendly spare motors. Uh, the controller is actually pretty cool looking as well. I mean, it's pretty comfortable. It's altitude hold, of course, and uh, you've got bumpers on top. I know both of these bumpers will make the drone motors stop. This is your speed rates. If you just press this, and there's three of them, I believe. Let's make sure that I'm not getting mixed up. That may be the, the left stick. It's easy to get confused on these. Um, the I'm going to take a, a cheat and look in the instruction manual here. And the top left is, actually this is your one key takeoff and one key landing. So I was mixed up, that's why I wanted to make sure I wasn't. And uh, you know, I'm not used to holding it away from me either. I'm used to looking at it, but uh, you know, I like to hold it so you guys can see it here. Though I do have my camera, my phone recording also off to the side. So you got your, uh, your uh, one key takeoff and landing here on this one. So it doesn't start the props. You have to push both sticks down and in, then you can go ahead and take off. So you need to start them up manually. This over here is your, uh, I think this is, let's see what's the right one. This is headless mode. And if you hold it, uh, it says keep pressing for two seconds and this into headless mode. So I don't think it has one key return. Like I said, I don't use those features very much, but press down on it and uh, for two seconds and get you headless mode. These, I believe, are just your, these are just trim buttons in the front. And then over here, um, if you press in on the left stick, that is your three rates. 
like I said, it gets pretty sporty and it flies really well. And trusting on this one gives your 360 flips in the direction that you wish to flip. And it does decent 360 flips. Um, not too bad for this design, though it's certainly not a great you know, 360 flipper. So like I said, you see it's got altitude hold and it takes two AAA batteries. And you put your phone in here because like I said, it's Wi-Fi FPV. So there's your on and off switch here in the front. Now to move along to the, uh, the app. The app you're gonna use is the TechRC app. I have it on this phone here, but of course I got it filming, so I'm not gonna sh pull it out. You're not gonna be able to see it very well on the, on the camera anyway. But I'll try to put a screenshot here what the app looks like. The problem I encountered is it does not work on at least newer, at least the newest Android, Android 9. Um, it crashes immediately. I'll try to put a screenshot too where you can see it crashes. I let the representative at TechRC know. She says she'd pass it along. If you look on the Play Store for Google, um, it, it has one star because the three or four reviews that you see are all saying the same thing that I'm saying. You can't get it to, it doesn't run. Now I'm sure it probably works fine on iPhone. You know, iPhone doesn't have a whole ton of different hardware that you have to deal with. So that helps them out a little bit. Um, if you have an older version of Android, I probably it works, but my phone is Android 9, it's an Android 1 phone. Also my older phone, which is not that old, my Xiaomi Mi uh, phone, it, it also is Android 1. It doesn't work on either one of them. So in the flight review, I can't show you any onboard, well, you know, the recorded Wi-Fi footage. There's no onboard since there's no SD card. So you have to see, you know, I just have to take my word for it there. I mean, I, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have a device accessible at the moment that is old, you know, that I could test the app out on. So there's no, the, what I'm getting to is there's no uh, camera footage. So I don't know anything about how this camera works. I don't know if it's good, bad, got jello in it. Um, you know, if it's what resolution it is, I'm thinking it looks like it's probably just by the similarities of this, it's probably, uh, you know, a 480p SD, um, but it could be 720. In fact, they have a 720p version of this, which makes me think it could be actually 720, since I don't know if they'd actually, uh, sorry, I got, my nose is really itching. <laughs> I keep rubbing my face, I'm sorry. And uh, it could be a 720p camera. I'm not exactly sure on that. So if you got Android, I would probably stay away from this drone, unless you're okay with just a really good, fun little uh, line of sight flyer because this is about 15 bucks if you use the uh, coupon code in the description along with clipping the 50% off code first on Amazon then apply the discount code on top of it it'll raise it all the way down to or I'll raise it <laughs> lower it all the way down to $15 so as a line of sight flyer and you have, if you have Android if you can get it for $15 I say it's worth it if you're okay with that if you um, and if you have an iPhone, you're probably fine to order this. If you got an Android and you really want to use the camera, which is one reason why they put a camera in this drone, then you shouldn't buy this and it's not worth the risk. Even though returning the drone to Amazon is pretty easy, so it's not like you're sending this back to China. I wouldn't even probably risk, you know, um, recommending this if it was coming straight from China. All right, guys, I think that's kind of wrapped up a lot of the stuff. One thing I think on the control I figured out was the calibration is down to the right. You need to do that. I don't think I saw that instruction manual, but I may have overlooked it. I've looked at so many of these instruction manuals that I tend to just almost skim it because I pretty much know what features that I'm looking for. So that's that. Otherwise, everything I think has been covered. I do believe this is probably a rebranded Jitang. It looks like Jitang stuff. Usually Jitang stuff is pretty good, but it may not be, but it looks like it. And it's kind of odd then that the app doesn't work, but maybe maybe TechRC made their own app for this, separate from Jitang, if that's the case. And that's why there's compatibility issues. But I just feel like it was not, it's not been updated for the newest Android and it just immediately crashes. So that's what that is there. And it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, at the end of the day, it won't apply to probably a lot of people, but there are some people like myself that it's not going to work for. 
All right, guys, hopefully I covered everything. I also went over a lot of this in the flight review, but I wanted to at least get a table review in also to let you see what all comes in the, the box. And of course, we got spare motors, which I don't know if those are included or not, but they may be. All right, guys, that wraps this up. So let's head on out now for the flight review. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I'm gonna take the Tech RC little, I guess you call it a micro drone up for its test flight now. Even though this does not, the app for this drone does not want to work on my phone, check in the Google Play Store, it's a common problem on the few reviews it has, every one is a one star because the app crashes, it just immediately crashes. I don't know if it's just an Android 9 issue, you know, my both of my phones have our Android 1 phone, so they have the newest, you know, version of Android. OS and it just it is you can't it just won't open it just immediately shuts down so there's no way to record the video or show you anything from that uh, if you have an Apple phone I don't think there's any problems if you have an iPhone and uh, maybe some of the older versions of Android you may have no problems hopefully Tech RC will figure that out even though I feel like a lot of these are just uh, Feiloon or sorry, not Feiloon um, Jitang rebranded Jitang quadcopters so it may be out of uh, Tech RC's hands to be able to uh, Resolve that though the app does say Tech RC, so I assume that they actually do produce it. Though it could just be that it's just Jatang's app and it's just been uh, renamed or something like that. And I'm just popping this the prop guard on this, just is kind of flimsy. I don't, I could just pull these off because I'm not a big fan of prop guards, but I kind of fly this around let you guys see how it would be if you flip right out of the box. These prop guards are rather thin, so they shouldn't have too much of a, of a, of a difference and how it handles the wind, or there'll be a slight difference in flight time out of this little guy. The LEDs are not really easy to see, red in the front, kind of blue on the side. So orientation, you know, without the FPV feed, it's gonna be a bit of a problem if you're not experienced. So you have white props in the front and red in the rear. So let's go ahead and we'll take it up because I want you to see this thing actually flies really well. That's why I'm bummed out about the app problems. But like I said, the app problem will not affect everybody, but it does affect quite a few. I saw another person with a Samsung Galaxy S9 and it didn't work for them either. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll step back and unlock the props. I believe it was both sticks down and out. Now I don't know if I can tell, I suppose sticks down and in. I, it, I don't think the instructions mentions a gyro calibration. I can't see it. It's late here in the evening if it's working or not. Let's go ahead and we'll take it up in the air. The all the takeoff is the, uh, here's the top button here. Now there's no wind at all, so it's a perfect time to fly a little drone like this outdoors. That's the lowest rate, y'all, it's not bad. And then really the white and red props for me right now is really, it's not too hard to tell the difference there. The LEDs though, not gonna help much. So you can see that red in the front and that's certainly gonna help. Really stable. Let's go up to the, uh, to the next right here. Uh, you press in on the left stick. That's the highest, I believe, let's try. There's lowest again. Press in again, and there's middle. I think I may have had it in middle to begin with. See, now, now right there, I got my orientation just slightly mixed up for a second. That's middle rate, and then you have to press in again, and there's highest. It's actually quite sporty, look at that. Highest rate. So I really, I really like how this little guy flies, like a flying ping pong or golf ball. Look at that. So I really can't comment right at the moment on the camera. I wouldn't expect that little pinhole type camera to be much more than it's probably just a 480p, uh, you know, standard definition camera. It's not gonna probably be much. But I typically, I like to see, is there jello in it? You know, is it something a person can use to get a, a selfie or something and it's reasonable? But like I said, I cannot get the video to work uh, on anything because the app doesn't work, so. It does come with two batteries, so that's nice. You know, you've got an extra flight time if you charge them up. I think they take about 70 minutes to charge up, so a little over an hour. There is an SD card slot, it looks like, on the bottom of the drone, but it actually does not work. On this one, if you push an SD card and it feels like it's gonna go in, but there's no mechanism in there, so you'll just have a hard time, like I did, getting the card out. Sometimes manufacturers forget to mention that it takes an SD card. So I wanted to be sure, and I, I didn't have any luck. It doesn't seem to be functional. They must have like a C version. You know, this is a W version of this drone. Uh, the model number on this drone, again, was the uh, T-1000. 
TR001W, at least that's what the instruction manual says. There's probably one that has a C on the end that takes the SD card and it doesn't use the Wi-Fi. That's my guess. Now it can be a little struggle at times, even the sportiest rate, to fight a little bit of a breeze, but there's almost no wind here. I still think this will be a troublesome quad in wind because it's so small, which is gonna be a case of any little quadcopter, especially one with brushed motors. But yeah, it's unfortunate that the app crashes and I don't know if this drone is super new for Tech RC or not. So I don't know if that app it used to work fine and then they didn't check compatibility with, you know, OS Android 9, I believe it is the newest version. Um, that's my guess. I can't find my tablet at the moment. I have a K1 and te a Tegra um, NVIDIA. I don't know if I've not had it on in a while, so I don't know. I'm sure it's not on OS uh, Android 9, so it might work on that. But my hands are kind of tied, guys, so I hope you don't uh, get upset I'm not providing you with everything you need. I just kind of out of my control. I can't. I'm not going to go out and buy a older Android phone just to be able to <laughs> test out a drone here. They should. And the thing is, is they need to take care of that. It's not. I shouldn't have to have an older phone or an Apple phone to be able to use the video on this. They need to make sure the compatibility is works and I'm going to let the uh, my contact at Tech RC know make sure she's aware of it I've got screenshots from the Play Store that show the other people seeing the exact same thing the app does not it crashes so I'm gonna let her know and I just let her know you know that I, I like this drone I really do but I can't recommend it to anybody if you uh, want to use it for the camera and I see a blinking light there so Looks like we're getting the uh, low voltage. Let's see if we can do a flip. I probably can't. No, it won't let me. I forgot to show you guys flips. You press down the right stick and it does. Like maybe I'll throw the other battery in here real quick. I got them both charged and I'll, sh I'll be right back here and I'll show you the flips, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just, it's gonna go ahead and land itself there. So, looks like both both of these will do emergency stop, which I just did there because it kind of got confused. So, let me, uh, let me go ahead and throw the other battery and I'll take it back up here let you guys see the flips because the flips actually it flips pretty good so I will be right back okay guys so I have the other battery put in. I just flew the other battery for a moment for this but it's still got some juice in it um, I want to show you the, cal the calibration is pretty normal like a lot of it's down and to the right you see it's blinking hopefully that shows up in my head cam if not just take my word for it and we'll go ahead now and take it up so I can show you guys the uh, flips so go ahead and unlock both sticks down and in because if you do the auto takeoff it doesn't do anything you have to actually start the props first then give it the left button to take off I'm gonna go ahead here here and go up to the uh, it always seems like it starts out in the intermediate rate so there's I'm gonna take it back to the highest rate I hope there's enough light here it's getting real late in the evening but let's get it out here so you can see it press on the right stick Get it a little way that probably didn't get caught up in the camera too well because uh, there's a little breeze coming at me right at me from the east and that's causing it to do that looks like we may have the gyro may it's kind of floating on me let's give us some right trim I didn't do that last time I didn't I, didn't, I don't think I calibrated the gyro last fly but it looks like it's leaning a little bit to the left let me just here we go it's Give us some right trim. Anyway, we'll take it up here and uh, do a few flips. Not, it's not a great flipper, but it's not terrible. But given the shape and it's a little bit bulky with the prop guards and landing gear on it like that, it's not surprising that it uh, isn't the greatest flipper. It takes its time, but as you can see, it's not like it's disastrous or it's flopping to the ground like some of them do now this goes altitude hold so those altitude hold flippers sometimes tend to be a little bit sloppier because you know it's kind of trying to hold its altitude and it has to flip up 
Tech RC was nice enough to send me some spare motors with this. I didn't even know it was they were coming, but they were in the in the box with it. And uh, that is nice. I don't know if they are just throwing those in as a freebie to people. Uh, those little motors like the, on these drones tend to last pretty good while they will eventually go bad. But uh, it's nice if, if they do. If not, it's nice that they carry them so you can uh, you know replace them. I'm gonna hit the auto landing and I'll just bring it down in my hand because you're not gonna get hurt by a little drone like this. These little props might sting, but you're not gonna get caught up by them or anything like that. All right, guys, well, that wraps up the flight review here of the Tech RC little micro. If this thing just had a, a reliable Android app, it would be a real winner. But I can't recommend it right now unless you just wanna pick a drone up to fly line of sight. Thankfully, the coupon I had I think dropped this thing around 15 bucks. So I really couldn't, if you can get it for 15, I'm gonna recommend it because if you just wanna fly it around and have fun, you can certainly fly this indoors or outdoors as you can see if it's relatively calm out. I can't have a, I don't have a problem with 15 bucks. So I, $15, I recommend it. For anything more than that, I wouldn't until they fix the app issues. So I will try to see if I got that coupon. I know there was one you could clip on the Amazon website that dropped it down considerably from a very high price it was set at originally. But then there was another coupon code I was given that dropped the price again. So you have to clip the coupon, then apply the code and bring it down. And you know, if you can get it for around 15, which I think that's what it was, I hope I'm not wrong. That is certainly gonna be worth it if you just want a line of sight flyer. But if you want to use the camera, then you need to hold off if you, you have, if you have Android. If you have iPhone, you're probably just fine. So a lot of things to consider. If you got iPhone, go for it. If you want a line of sight flyer and you don't care about the camera, go for it. If you got an Android phone and you're really gonna use the camera, then you need to avoid this. All right, guys, that wraps it review hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and click the bell so you know when i do upload a new video you'll be notified and as always guys have a great day the power of the dark side, 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 side.